Good morning, um, early starters. <laughs> Very nice to see you here. Uh, obviously, some of the people are still in bed. Uh, I would like to give you a, a very brief overview about um, a new plug-and-play installation that has been developed by Seco Warwick in cooperation uh, with um, Xpenite. Um, uh, the uh, presentation consists of uh, first a little introduction on the background of uh, stainless steel surface hardening, um, the uh, introduction of the Xpenite company. I will tell you something about the technology, the applications, the alternatives that exist on the market. Uh, I also have a case study for you that you know how we apply the process. Uh, I give you a little introduction of our Xpenite unit, uh, which is our plug and play solution that we offer to the market. The processes that Xpenite and Super Xpenite can do for you and the outlook uh, how we're going to uh, go ahead on the market. Um, mm -hmm. Well, that's strange. Okay, a little bit on the background of uh, stainless steel uh, surface hardening. Stainless steel is um, corrosion resistant, but uh, suffers uh, as well from poor wear resistance. So you see here a, a pump wheel, and you see how the corrosion is uh, taking actually uh, part of the surface away. Uh, the wear is taking part of the uh, surface away, and the cost of corrosion and wear are about uh, seven, 279 billion dollars per year. <coughs> um, Xpenite is a Danish uh, think tank company. It's a spin-off of the University of Denmark. At the University of Denmark, we have some specialists that dealt 20 years with um, stainless steel surface hardening, corrosion behavior, and wear resistance on surface steel. And um, uh, they developed in, these, in this time a lot of processes. Some of them have been sold to other companies. When they found the last solution of Xpenite, they decided that they spin it off themselves. And so the developers of the process are as well the founders of the company. And um, they have two processes that they can license. That is the Xpenite process and the Super Xpenite process. The technology itself is actually an uh, interstitial hardening process. That means uh, we have the mattress of uh, the austenite. And inside this, we have some space. We uh, leave uh, carbon and nitrogen atoms inside the mattress. And um, the austenite is expanding this way. So it's expanded austenite or uh, Xpenite. That's the name of the company. Uh, the issue with um, hardening of uh, stainless steel is that you have to bring nitrogen and carbon uh, towards the surface. Uh, actually, you have oxide layer, so normally this oxide layer blocks this um, diffusion. Um, what Xpenite does is we have a gas atmosphere inside the furnace uh, that we can control, and we can actually also control the um, different parts of this gas atmosphere. And in this gas atmosphere, we have an agent that removes actually the oxide layer, and we have a carbon and a nitrogen agent to uh, do a hardened soon on the surface itself. That is basically the exponent process that helps us to nitride and carburize stainless steel at low temperatures. What we found on the micrograph is a clearly um, uh, built up layer of nitrogen in the top and another layer in between the mattress material uh, which uh, contains carbon. It is not a coating, it is a diffusion process. If you consider uh, other uh, stainless steel hardening processes at higher temperatures, you find that we uh, very often build a chrome, uh, chromium uh, nitrides. Uh, which actually uh, leads to a less uh, corrosion resistance. We have a higher rear resistance because the surface is hardener, but on the other hand, it is very affected uh, by pitting and corrosion. Um, the Xpenite uh, process runs at lower temperature, and actually we enhance the corrosion resistance and we enhance the rear resistance. Um, it's a super-saturated uh, super solid solution, which is um, uh, indicated by a very even and very uh, uh, a homogen layer on the surface. Uh, here you see basically um, hardness profile and um, 
uh, the content of the nitrogen and uh, carbon in the surface. Uh, the nitrogen actually serves us with a very hard surface, up to 1200 uh, wicker. And um, normally, if you only use high uh, nitrogen, you have a very um, soft uh, base material at around uh, 200 wickers. By using carbon in the layer, in between the nitrogen layer and the uh, um, uh, mattress layer, we are able to avoid any effects of shipping or l shack effect. Egg, so, so sorry, eggshell effect. <coughs> okay, uh, why are we able to um, uh, improve the electrochemical properties? Actually, that is uh, a point that we have a very even layer. The gas control process um, makes this layer on a load completely homogeneous, uh, which actually sh is shown here. If you have a stainless steel uh, steel that is delivered, you find here as soon where the electrochemical potential goes down, which means it is affected by corrosion. Uh, if you consider there's a certain line of passivity, you see that uh, we have in this area the pitting, while an exponite layer, uh, due to its uh, homogeneous uh, um, uh, layer of nitrogen and carbon, is uh, not running into this issue. The gas control process as well makes um, the whole process um, tailor-made for any application. That means we just show here a little example. These are different um, contents in the atmosphere of um, ammonia. And depending <coughs> on the um, ammonia content, we create different surfaces with different thicknesses and different properties. Um, we can adapt, actually, the uh, exponite layer to any application case that requires a certain wear and um, corrosion resistant behavior. Mm -hmm. <coughs> the applications, where do we see the applications? Well, everywhere we need uh, fatigue, uh, fatigue strengths, uh, corrosion resistance, scratch resistance, and wear resistance, we can apply the technology on stainless steel parts. So uh, typical parts would be a decorative parts like uh, cell phones, cutlery. We also have uh, pistons, uh, uh, cutting tools, uh, biomechanic tools, and um, uh, bearings washers and things like that. <coughs> I give you some um, examples here of the application of the exponite process. You see uh, here, for example, some uh, uh, washers and fittings. Uh, and you also can recognize that we create, in this case, a very even layer <coughs> above the stainless steel mattress. Um, it's also applicable for um, self-tapping screws, so small parts are uh, uh, very nice for that too. You see uh, that um, the layer is very homogeneous again. We run them up to 50 microns or 100 microns. It depends on the uh, different application case. Uh, cutlery is as well a very interesting thing. We can run completely scratch-free cutlery. Uh, there's also the idea to use it one day on kitchen sinks. We do not have a limit in size in this gaseous process. And um, uh, the biggest advantage of the gaseous process, and here I come back on the advantage of the homogeneous layer, you see here a flange of a screw. And in this flange of the screw, we have a surface defect. And even the surface defect is completely built with an exponite uh, layer. <coughs> Also very nice in the gaseous process, uh, and uh, we heard about that um, uh, in uh, some other presentations. That uh, often bulk wear is not even not very good to be treated, but uh, this process can run on bulk wear, and you won't find any big difference in the surface uh, layer thickness. Um, there are uh, alternatives, alternatives on the market, so other interstitial uh, hardening processes. And uh, if you take a look at uh, these alternatives, um, which I don't want to name here, <coughs> um, you see that um, um, the exponite process is actually competitive to everything which is existing on the market. What is interesting is that some of these processes are not available uh, for in-house treatment, so you only can buy them as a service um, um, uh, at a, at a service center, and the exponite unit is something that you can install in your factory directly. Okay, <coughs> coming to the case study, we run the first industrial application today uh, in Ohio, here in the US. 
where we create um, exponent layers uh, on um, uh, surface, uh, um, on um, stainless steel fittings uh, for the chemical industry, which are very uh, high corrosion resistant. Um, this company came up with the idea that they want to have a product that is better than everything which is available on the market. And uh, they did this comparison afterwards. So um, you see here a great 316 uh, surface, surface hardened great uh, stainless uh, in a, a hypochlorite acid that is a very uh, strong corrosion media. And um, with the exponite, we run up to 120 hours. And actually, you see that the surface is um, not really affected by it. You see the other suppliers that use actually similar functional parts for the same application, and you see that after uh, that, in less than 24 hours, actually the part is completely corroded, and you cannot use it anymore. Um, in the end, that means uh, if you consider a long-term use in the chemical industry, uh, the exponite-treated parts will last far longer than as any other part on the market. So for um, the company itself that uh, um, runs now this exponite in-house. Uh, you see that uh, they had before some corrosion issues uh, with, um, they, with their parts. They had logistic issues due to the fact that they bought it in a service center and uh, they had big issues with delivery time. Now they have an exponite unit uh, sold by Exponite AS from Denmark <laughs> and um, they got improved uh, product, actually the best in the industry as they state themselves. If anybody's interested, I can give you uh, a link to this. Uh, they have the maximum flexibility, and they can do a day-by-day -day processing with the unit. Well, what is our part in the whole thing? Because uh, up to now, I only speak about Exponite, and all of uh, what I've shown you so far is the courtesy of Exponite, of the process owner and the process uh, license donator. So our part is a unit that has been um, built and designed for using the process. Um, well, we actually designed the unit like a coffee machine. So you press a button and uh, you get a good coffee that comes out of it. You don't know the temperature of the water. You don't know how much coffee goes inside. You don't know the pressure of the pump. But uh, the coffee is actually the result that you want. And it's actually functioning in the same way. So Exponite is going to develop a process. And then you have a one button machine where you press a button and you put your load on. And after uh, a number of hours, the result is coming out. Um, for doing this, we uh, try to use a sample quality control system, a very simple uh, human uh, machine interface that is easy to use by any operator, even if he's, if he's not a heat treater and he does not have much idea about heat treatment. Um, uh, it's plug and play, so we reduced actually uh, the need of infrastructure. It is uh, basically only uh, uh, from your side required that you have gas available and energy available as an integrated cooling system. We reduced the emissions. We have a catalytic um, incinerator on the exhaust gases so that the uh, environmental issues are also very small. And uh, well, what is also offered is a 24-7 um, surveillance of the unit done by Exponite. <laughs> okay, um, so that is... Uh, the first design that we did, so you see actually it is a casing that is completely closed with the uh, unit inside. Uh, well, we put it in a little nice uh, dress too, uh, because we think uh, two days equipment in in-house solution needs to be uh, quite nice looking as well. Um, here you see uh, the outside dress, and uh, I'm uh, pretty proud that um, we will exhibit this unit on the Herd Reikolloquium in Germany, which is the German assembly of the heat treatment organization, which will take place next week in Wiesbaden. So if you come to Germany, you will see the unit in front of uh, the exhibition hall. Um, how is the business model actually working between us and Exponite? It's a technical partnership, so Exponite um, does for you the problem analysis and solution. They do trials, uh, they do the process implementation. Um, uh, they give you process services and update, and they give you a license contract. The license contract uh, uh, will have a type of uh, a fee in US dollars per hour or a US dollar per uh, load. And uh, you download the process directly from the Exponite Center. You run it, and afterwards the process program itself is deleted inside the unit. 
Um, and the remote quality control is done by Exponite. To make that a little bit uh, more to use for your internal applications, you can run it alternatively as a normal nitriding and nitrocarburizing installation. So you basically can start it up as Exponite or as nitriding and nitrocarburizing installation. Our part in the whole thing is that we supply the furnace, um, we supply uh, the installation services and uh, commissioning and uh, service the furnace afterwards. Um, the processes that Xponite is offering are actually two. Uh, Xponite is for already annealed parts um, that um, uh, are pre-annealed in a vacuum furnace and you directly can use them in the unit. And the super Xponite is for non-annealed parts that is basically consisting of an additional step in front of the uh, original Xponite process which is a kind of a vacuum annealing at high temperature. Um, so. Sicker Warwick supplies the both units. You see, if you want to run the super exponite with non annealed parts, you actually need a, a vacuum furnace with high pressure gas quench and the exponite unit. If you run only uh, the exponite uh, and you already have annealed parts, uh, you just need this one. This photo was sent uh, this morning, so we are just installing the unit for the shipment to Wiesbaden next week. It is uh, fresh from Poland, and uh, I'm quite proud that we are able to present this unit very soon. Um, giving you a last outlook on uh, what is going to happen in the next um, uh, months. Well, uh, October 10th to 12th is a heat treatment show in Wiesbaden, uh, very international. Uh, I think the guiding fair in Europe, so uh, participate, it is worth it. Um, and then directly afterwards the furnace is shipped to Denmark. We will install both installations uh, in the um, showroom at Xponite in Copenhagen and uh, well we will have an official opening that is not yet determined what the date will be uh, if you're interested to take part give me your address we will invite you uh, you can already send at any time samples so if you got some stainless steel parts that need special properties uh, just write what you want what you need send them to Denmark and they can process them already on some preliminary or uh, predecessors of uh, the actual exponent installations. Okay, thank you very much.